Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. If you sat there earlier and watched how to convert these flowers into evil flowers, well, we're getting somewhere, right? Now, the old way of actually doing this was back when you could actually take an Abigail flower and smush them all together. But let's not get into that. I'll kind of explain it near the end. My name, as I mentioned, I enjoy doing these weird little tips and tricks videos. So this is something that obviously could potentially be improved, maybe even with mods, which we'll talk about as well. But for this, I need to die. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, okay, after I'm dead, I'm going to go ahead and haunt all of these flowers. Now, why am I haunting these flowers, you might ask? Well, you're going to find out in a second. After haunting all the flowers in the area, which might take a little bit of time, depending on, you know, how fast you are doing so, and how many clicks it takes to actually do it, as there are sometimes a certain chance of actually converting the flowers to something evil. So let's keep trying and trying and trying. I might actually have to redo this again. It, oh, don't, there we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to do that. Let's do this last one, and this one over here, and come on, let's go. There we go. Okay, so now they're ready. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and revive myself. And now, unfortunately, while I stand around here, my sanity is going to start to deplete a little bit. As you can see, wow, my sanity is starting to come down a lot. So let's go ahead and let our sanity go down, shall we? Okay, so the old way of actually making yourself an amazing sanity station or a sanity loss station was actually taking an Abigail flower, putting it on the ground, and then eventually uh, you would go ahead and you would haunt it, which would turn it into an evil flower. And then that got changed because Abigail's new update or Wendy's new update, I should say, where now you have a different flower. But this was a while back, so this sort of san sanity station ended up being obsolete. There are other ways to do this where if you have a mod called... Um, it's not geometric placement, but it's something similar to that, which I think it's realistic placement is called, where you can essentially plant things a little bit closer together, which is actually really good for flingomatics with like a chest right next to it. Um, that'll let you plant them really close together, but of course it's not how the game is meant to be played, so everyone's to each their own. Okay, so of course if I go and grab this B crown, what essentially is it going to do? Well, B crowns are meant for basically reversing sanity. So anything that's evil near you, you're actually going to gain sanity from it. So let's go ahead and equip it. And I accidentally picked up a flower, which whatever. And now our sanity is actually going up. So this is how you would actually make yourself a sanity station. Anytime that you would have an abundance of these kind of in a little area, well, now you stand there with the B crown with not even utilizing any of its durability. You could go AFK for five or 10 minutes and you can come back and essentially go, hey, um, I am now having my sanity go through the roof. What they've done though, is they've actually replaced this with a cistern. So if you remember on Abigail's kind of situation is now, sorry, in say Abigail, on Wendy's situation, Wendy can come in and actually make a cistern. If you don't know what a cistern is, what you do is you place it in the world and then you stand next to it and you can gain some sanity by just standing there. Same works for Glomer and all that other stuff. But unfortunately, this has been manipulated just a wee bit, but this is actually a really easy way of doing it. If you don't really want to go through the process, or if you don't have a Wendy in the world with you, but you do have the bee crown from defeating the actual bee queen, then you could actually sit here and go AFK for 5 or 10 minutes and come back and your sanity will be, you know, better than normal. Now, normally what I would end up doing is getting rid of this giant little skeleton that's unfortunately in the middle of everything and start to cram things a little bit closer together but as you can see it's a little bit harder to do so so what i usually like recommend doing is if you find a cluster of flowers keep them there don't pluck them come back haunt them cause a little sanity station to happen and you're good to go another bonus too is of course anything that's of course like i said evil in the area when you wear the bee crown it'll reverse it and then put your sanity up just like it does on any other area that is essentially evil um oh sorry my character's gonna get hit there no with that no Bonk. and voila so there it is that is how you would used to get yourself a nice sanity station now it's a little bit kind of worse than it was before but obviously it's you know you can use it for each way you can use it for reducing your sanity or increasing your sanity and things can be changed this is one of many different ways of actually doing this so don't look at this and go wow that's really crummy or mm, i feel like you can improve it of course you can but this is just the easiest way of doing so that's all I did was I, I captured a bunch of butterflies, came back, planted them in a specific order, and then immediately went and haunted them after I died. Then I took the bee crown and stood there, and sure enough, my sanity started to go up. So keep in mind that things are meant to be changed and improved. If you have a better way of doing so, post them down in the comments down below. Of course, I want to keep it somewhat simple for any new beginner player that has probably just got into DST. 
And that's why I didn't want to overcomplicate things. But nonetheless, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.